What's up everybody? We are in Thailand, Chiang Mai, yes! First time in Thailand and first time up north in Thailand. There is loads of things I can explore and we will start slowly today. So interesting part about Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai town center is actually surrounded by canal which makes it as a square and it looks pretty interesting on the map itself. There's actually a couple of things you can see in Chiang Mai. One of the main thing is pagodas and temples. Thailand is very famous for its temples. They are beautiful, they look very unique and uh, they stand out from the temples which I have seen like in India, in Nepal or somewhere else. Another thing, what you can see in Thailand are red taxis. One actually passing here, I'll show you. Those are red taxis. They work the same way as jeepneys in Philippines, for example. It's basically just a car which actually picks up the people on the street. And if the car goes the same way which you need to go, then you can hop in and just go with the flow and go with the people. Like, uh, like a bus, but a car. Another unique thing about Chiang Mai is that they have a woman's prison here. And for the woman that actually is about to be free, they do some sort of training courses and one of those things are massage. So you can actually go to prisoner's massage in Chiang Mai and get a proper Thai massage. That's actually the first temple which we will visit today. The first one because it's located like literally uh, one minute from my hotel. Chiang Mai is stated to be way cheaper because it's the north part of Thailand, it's not so crowded with the people, the weather is less humid, altitude of Chiang Mai is 300 meters but nearby cities are even higher. You will see many many expats around Chiang Mai because that's a pretty calm place. Chiang Mai is surrounded by temples, so one temple which we go right now is this one. And there's literally another temple just on the other side of the road and there, there's another temple. But the first one we go today is Wat Lok Moli, which is here. Wat Lok Moli is a Buddhist temple dated to 1300. It's a beautiful place to stroll around, think about the life and meditate. You will also have a chance to see monks and maybe even interact with some by having a couple of words. We're heading towards this one and the next one. As I'm dressing in the shorts, I'm not going like inside inside because I'm trying to respect the rules and uh, not gonna go back to hotel to change my shorts just because I have to change the hotel in a couple of hours. This temple looks incredibly beautiful. Honestly, there is no need to compare anything, but one thing I want to mention for sure is that the temples in Thailand are probably the most beautiful I have ever seen in my life. Thai people do put a lot of effort in building temples and especially they focus on details. It's literally a piece of art and uh, with no joke, this temple looks incredible. like days and weeks exploring every single temple and we will not do that we will move a little bit further there's another temple which will on my side and that's not the one i was before and every single one is amazingly beautiful and every single one is different so that's what I'm saying, like for real you can spend literally days and weeks exploring temples. How beautiful it is made and all those little pieces like aligning together. So if you will observe everything, if you will see every single little part of the temple, then it literally takes hours to just observe one. It's really a piece of art. Honestly, you can easily say that Thailand has 
the most beautiful temples in the world. Especially the temples that were built hundreds of years ago, so everything was made by hand. It just like you cannot even think how how people can do such things. Especially in Vietnam, in north part of Vietnam, when you are not seeing any temples for like for days, then you might see one church, then you might see like a couple of small temples like during like, two, three days. And here literally on a distance of 500 meters you might see like 10 temples. Wow. Some of the places I'm suggesting you and some of the places you might want to visit in Chiang Mai will be down in the description with the links to Google. If I'll have a party today, then tomorrow for sure we will head towards massage because I will need some chill. We just arrived at Fire Gate. It's on the east side of central Chiang Mai. Known as a site for many community events, this preserved city gate dates back to ancient times. I see it actually as a good meeting point, you know, when you try to decide where you want to catch up, this is a perfect spot for that. Look, there's literally another temple, which is beautiful. There's around 300 temples in uh, Chiang Mai and overall in Thailand more than 2000. But imagine just one city serves around 300 temples and they, the city itself isn't that big they literally temples everywhere every single corner so like i'm standing here right now uh, just 50 meters away from that fire gate the temple is here and then if we just move just a little bit we will pop up towards the main street and there's literally a temple over there so it's like completely packed with the temples if you go outside of the town, you can visit Elephant Sectionary, the place where people actually take care of the elephant. There's a few places around Chiang Mai area, so you need to be sure and just double check if the place actually treats elephants well. Because some of the places, elephants are mistreated and uh, those places are just like aimed for the money. But there is a few places, if you go through the blocks, you will find out that there is a few places with uh, actual nice treatment of elephants. And regards Thai street food, there is a special dish which came from Chiang Mai and the name of it is Khao Soi Lung. Overall the place seems to be very calm honestly. Uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and literally nobody outside. When you see a little temple or the place to worship and that's actually a police station. So imagine that. Pretty cute. So yeah, it's pretty cute I would say. By the way, did you know, did you actually know that uh, marijuana is legalized in Thailand? I mean, I'm not smoking weed, so I cannot say anything about that, but yeah, so, so now you know, it is legalized. Hey guys, and welcome back to Sunday, which means that today is the day when they do the open street market, starting from the gate which is on the eastern side and all the way to the Wat Pra temple so it's about two kilometers long street full of shops so let's just go and see how the market looks like and what they actually can offer you as soon as you cross the street you will enter the market and it just goes straight up until you reach the temple Wat Pra Singh For example, like those bands. Huge market which has so many varieties of things, starting from handcrafts, tailoring, food, accessories, souvenirs. You literally can just spend like a whole night walking around and choosing the stuff.
subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment down below, and I see you in the next one.